Hello everyone, welcome to online mining exam. Today's quiz is based on previous year questions for winning and working subject. It is a part of our Achievers Practice Series initiative. You can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about all future classes and quizzes so that you do not miss them. Okay. And in this quiz, there will be 10 questions and for every question, you will get 30 seconds time to respond. After the time is up, the correct answer will be displayed on the screen. In case you have any doubt pertaining to any question, you are free to comment your doubts in the comment section and then we will try to look into it and resolve it at the earliest. So, this quiz may total 10 questions. For every question, you have 30 seconds time a lot. You can add your answer in live chat and in the last minute, you can calculate your score. ठीक है हर क्वेश्चन के 30 सेकंड कंप्लीट होने के बाद आपको करेक्ट आंसर स्क्रीन पर डिस्प्ले किया जाएगा आपको कोई भी डाउट है आप क्विज खत्म करने के बाद अपने डाउट्स को कमेंट में डाल सकते हैं ठीक है और जिनको भी फ्री स्टडी मटेरियल के साथ अपडेटेड रहना है व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप का लिंक इसी वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में डला रहेगा आप उस व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप पे ज्वाइन करके फ्री स्टडी मटेरियल एक्सेस कर सकते हैं ठीक है लेट्स मूव टू द questions now so the first question is the height of any pillar to be left in situ in clay for the purpose of measurement in open cast workings shall not exceed dash meters and if the height exceeds that dash meters its base shall not be less than dash meters in diameter question per lijay chase time man abhi thod dher me start karo okay I am starting the timer now. Time up. Let's see the answer. So the correct answer is D. Next question. The ratio of weight per unit volume of loose rock mass after blasting or loosening and weight per unit volume of solid rock mass in the bench is called. Your time starts now. Let's see the answer. So the correct answer is C, soil factor. See, through this question, you can see that there are five factors, there are five different terms uh, available in the option. I request you that you go through all these five definitions because if DGMS had asked uh, soil factor before, they may ask bucket factor this year. So you must stay updated with the options as well. Next question. Some of the typical benefits of plant program of ground dewatering are A. Lower haulage cost B. Improved slope stability C. Efficient working condition D. Option A and option C but not B E. All of the above options A, B, C. Your time starts now. Time up. Let's see the answer. The correct answer is E. A, B, C. See, 
this slide is again has been put to remind you that you have only 58 days left now your exam will be somewhere between december 12 to december 16 so you must gear up now and start your strategy start working on your strategy very well okay if by any chance you have any doubt pertaining to our paid courses and mock test series you can call on the number displayed on the screen right and the salient feature of the course our courses are also displayed on the screen you can see that there are structured curriculum and 50 plus hours of live classes you have 30 plus mock tests to practice and you will get revision notes etc and doubt resolution in the whatsapp group and apart from that all the classes that are conducted you will get recording of those classes for revision so the next question is what is the iron concentration for preparing iron ore pellets the time starts now Time up. Let's see the answer. So the correct answer is E, 63%. Next question. As per DGMS circular number 36, 1972, find the minimum width of the bench in meter with the following condition. A, height of the bench is 10 meter. B, width of excavator working on the bench is 6 meter. Width of the tipper playing on the bench is 3 meter. So the options are 9, 10, 3, 8, 6. Your time starts now. Time up. Let's see the answer. The correct answer is B. Next question. The purpose of sub base layer in constructing hall road is A. Reduce water seepage. B. Improve strength. C. Provide coating on the road. D. Improve friction between tire and road. E. All of the above. Your time starts now. Let's see the answer. So the correct answer is B. Next question. Which one of the following is not a mechanical property of rock? A. Strength. B. Porosity. C. Hardness. D. Deformability. C. E. Elasticity. Your time starts now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is B, porosity. It is not a mechanical property. See, uh, one thing I would like to uh, announce that uh, right now we are conducting winning and working and legislation quizzes on the alternate days. If you guys think that we should be conducting these quizzes every day for winning as well and legislation as well, then you get any video and share it with your friends and bring 1000 likes. 
if we get 1000 likes on any video then we will start doing it on every day for both the subjects okay let's see the next question and you must subscribe and click the bell icon to stay notified about all future videos next question so uh, this is a table uh, in which you have to basically match the drill and accessory uh, column with the energy related column okay so read the question carefully for a while i'll start the timer after some time i'm starting the timer now So the correct answer is D. Next question. What is the function of fuse in a fluid coupling? A. It is used for reducing motor power consumption. B. It is used for starting the belt conveyor. C. It ensures safety of the motor by blowing out when the belt conveyor is overloaded. D. It helps in cleaning running conveyor belt. E. It reduces the conveyor belt speed. Your time starts now. So the correct answer is C. It ensures safety of the motor by blowing out when the belt conveyor is overloaded. Next question. So different process or processes involved in EIA for obtaining environmental clearance. A. Public consultation. B. Screening. C. Scoping. D. Appraisal. E. All of the above. Your time starts now. Time up. So the correct answer is E. All of the above. Thank you. Thank you everyone for participating. See you in the next session. I would like to remind again that if you have any doubt, post it in the comment section of the video. And uh, if you like the session, press the like button on the video. Share it with your friends. And make sure that you bring 1000 likes to get this session every day for both the subjects. Thank you.